Hey, what's up, everyone? JT here. Welcome to Pineapple Money, where I talk about stock market news and investing for the long term portfolio. Today, we're going to be talking about the amazing big Apple and what their upcoming earnings is looking like and what I'm also planning to do with Apple this time around. So now, if you do find anything interesting in this video, please don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe for more content. And also let me know down in the comments what you're planning to do with Apple. All right, so let's get to it. Now, Apple's fourth quarter earnings is expected to come out on Thursday, October 29th after market close. Now, before I talk about uh, Apple's earnings, I do want to take a look at their stock and how they're moving. So since their stock split and um, back in the beginning of right here, you can see about a high of 130. Apple has been downtrending a little bit um, all the way down, of course. To a low around 105 and then another pop back to 125 right here at a peak of 125 this is up about 14 percent of the month and i would say in general apple has been following the broader market and of course the broader market is currently currently volatile in regards to political news such as elections and stimulus so apple has reached a low of about 105 dollars during which i believe was stimulus news no stimulus news or trump testing positive i forget i mean this is pretty much like just shows how driven how news driven the entire market is right now but currently apple um did drop down to 105 but did pop up really quickly because of course people are probably loading up on shares so currently apple does stand around 115 dollars after market close from the previous friday and as i'm currently filming this on sunday october 25th um, i do see apple still downtrending as you can see right here and is it making lower lows as well as lower highs? For me, I do see resistance around what the $118 mark right here, as you can kind of see. Let me zoom in right here, 118 right here, as well as a support around 112 from previous um, bottoms right here as well. And of course, I think there's also a psych psychological um, support system around 115, which is where um, Apple did close on Friday. Um, now, in my opinion, I do expect if there's no negative news in terms of stimulus or any other political news, I do see Apple kind of running up towards into earnings on Thursday, um, run up into the anticipation of it, but then afterwards we'll probably have a drop since some Wall Street analysts are expecting Apple to see lower profits. And looking at what the market maker is predicting, let's take a look at that as well. Let's see this one right here. So. The market maker is kind of predicting that Apple is going to be moving around 6% um, this week. And of course, earning is in four days. So that is Thursday. So the market maker is predicting Apple to move 6% up or down, which is out of $115. That's about a, uh, a, a $6.9. So that's um, $7 pretty much up or down with its com upcoming earnings. So I think this is actually a good segue to earnings now. Let's talk about that. Looking towards earnings this week, a lot of big tech stocks like Facebook, Amazon, Google, and Apple are supposed to release the earnings on Thursday after hours. So it's going to be a big day for tech nonetheless. Now for Apple's earnings specifically, Apple's expectations are a little funky this time around because Apple is missing their prized possession, the new iPhones. Last year, Apple did release their iPhone 11 late September and shipped it out within the week after. And from this, we kind of usually get a lot of information about the device and of course the coming sales. And now with the both with both the newest iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro only being released last Friday, October 23rd, and two more missing iPhones, the iPhone 12 Pro Max as well as the iPhone 12 Mini, uh, which are slotted to come out in um, I believe in November, late towards November, as you can see right here, we are going to be missing some information with these upcoming earnings. So. That means that these expectations won't be coming in for Apple's earnings on October 29th. So there will be a lot of sales information regarding Apple iPhones missing. Now, for the main reason why I'm talking about Apple's iPhone so much is because typically iPhone sales make up about 40% of their sales in comparison to their other products, even to their services. Now, looking back at Apple's third quarter earnings in July, iPhones made up 44% of their sales services coming in a second around with 22% and Apple did release that their new Apple Watch and iPads earlier in the month so these products might be included to the upcoming earnings. 
Wall Street is forecasting for Apple to have an EPS of 71 cents, which is down 7% year over year, and a sales of 64.16 billion, which is barely up year over year. So as you can tell, a lot of Wall Street analysts are not expecting lackluster results from Apple this quarter. Now, um, Morgan Stanley's analyst Huberty um, does believe that the demand for the newest iPhones is the strongest it's been um, for a long time, and mostly because um, she points out of their lead times and shep- shipping estimates. Um, but if anyone did see the highlights from Apple's presentation, um, Apple has been really posting about their new iPhones and their new feature, which of course that new feature is 5G. And you guessed that a lot of carriers, including mostly the big four carriers, the US mobile characters, um, such as AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon. They are giving subsidies to Apple, for example, for the lower iPhone 12. As you can see right here, if you do buy an unlocked iPhone, it is $829. But if you buy it under a, a carrier, such as AT&T or T-Mobile, or even Sprint, and all these actually, they all cost about $799, which is what Apple advertised. So I do expect that the new um, iPhones to do pretty well um, especially towards the holidays. As for the timing for the iPhone 12, um, I do expect since this launch did come pretty late, I really do expect that they won't be um, in the reported earnings from Apple this upcoming week. And the most important thing for the future is to see how these phones will do in the upcoming quarters. In my opinion, I do expect Apple to, like I said before, to have a small run up towards their earnings on Thursday. Uh, into anticipation of course but afterwards will probably dip due to lower profits than usual which of course because of no iphone and in the future and upcoming quarters i'm sure that these iphone 12s remember there's four of them now will probably um, be much higher due to these profits from these iphones but who knows maybe apple can somehow surprise us this thursday where maybe with their growing services but apple uh, we'll probably dip after earnings and honestly i'll probably be ready to pick up shares because in the long term i am still really bullish on apple and of course apple is one of the biggest tech companies out there right now um, so my plays are pretty much i'm am planning to either sell or put because of um of course that's a great premium to have as well as maybe do some credit spreads and according to um the market maker they do expect about a six percent move so i will adjust accordingly for my credit spreads by then so in general i do think that this week's earnings for apple will be kind of interesting to watch but nothing too crazy i see so all right this kind of wraps up my video for apple if you found anything interesting in this video please don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe for more content. And also let me know down in the comments what your plans for Apple is or even earnings in general. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.